Okay, well, good evening, everybody. For those of you that are live, we are so glad. We've just been chit-chatting. See, when you don't get on live, you don't hear all the juicy stuff that we talk about before we go on to recording. So, but anyway, we're excited to welcome uh, Linda and Lisa and Shamel and Jaquel and um, Linda and LG Studio, <laughs> okay? So we're, we're glad that everybody's here and I'm sure others will probably pop on. But uh, tonight, um, I decided that we would tackle, and i tell you what, what prompted me to do the compensation plan. Um, Linda Webster has already uh, em embraced the, the, no the notion of sending her story in, which I encourage everyone that is on live, as well as those that will be catching the re replay to um, tell your story, you know, tell, you know, your history. This is Women's History Month, and we want to be able to share kind of what got you here and where you're going and where you hope to land, okay? And one of the things as I was reading Linda's story um, that we will share uh, with everybody, we'll be sharing yours as well and in, in, on various platforms, um, was that she mentioned something about wanting a Lexus. And she wanted to know how to be able to get a car with Color Me Beautiful because she's probably heard us talking about, um, you know, cars in the past. So, um, Linda, I will share with you tonight because the compensation plan, I want to make sure that we get a chance to um, really fully understand it. So tonight we are going, we're doing, this is going to be a two-part series with the compensation plan. So tonight we're going on a journey from um, being a consultant where you have no one that you're working with, that you're just a lone ranger doing sales and having fun with it, to an executive manager, which is right before you go into what we call director and qualification and become a director where that's where the, uh, the stakes are higher and you can qualify for a car allowance um, and you and you can get a car allowance up to six hundred dollars a month. Um, it, you know, if you're doing the numbers, and um, you can get whatever car you want, or you can decide to take that six hundred dollars um, and put it into your household expenses, however you want to do it. So, um, so we'll be reviewing that piece of it because um, if I tried to do all of it tonight, your head would be spinning. I guarantee you that. And I want to make sure that when you leave tonight that you have a full understanding of the path and the journey to get from a consultant to an executive manager. So again, March is Women's Month, Women's History Month. How are you celebrating yourself and how are you celebrating others? Uh, when we talk about branding ourselves and doing more with social media, um, one of the things that I've, I've found is that um, women in general um, are, are looking for information for, um, you know, some people didn't know that it was Women's History Month. So they love you being able to announce it or announce it before everybody uh, is, is out there posting it. Um, and I think that, you know, for me, I, what, what I plan to do is to, um, to share some story, some history about women's, you know, find some women that maybe are unsung sung heroes, uh, you know, not necessarily the obvious, uh, you know, people that are in history today um, or have made their mark already, but to share some, did you know, okay? And, um, you know, so I think that um, that's one of the things that I'm planning on doing, but how are you going to celebrate your clients during Women's History Month? Uh, how are you going to celebrate yourself through that month? And um, I'd love to be able to hear what you have to say. Um, anybody want to share? Okay, so silence means that you don't want to share tonight, but that's okay. I, I did just think of something. I, I had been doing this before Women's History Month. I didn't know March was going to be Women's History Month, but um, I've been given, you know, just little free GWP, just free gifts to customers that are spending, you know, over a hundred dollars and okay. personally delivering them like one of the Flory totes. 
with okay. a thank you and oh. uh, if it's a referral or if they made a significant purchase i've okay. been delivering um free gifts to them so that's I'm great continue that okay that is that's awesome that is awesome and um that is certainly a um a, a, a great way to say thank you and to celebrate um, Women's History Month. And um, so are you just doing that for your local clients, Linda? But suppose you've got people um, that are out of state, are you gonna send them something too? Or is it limited to your locals? If I, yeah, it would, well, the, the couple that I've given are locals, but if I had somebody, you know, long distance, I would definitely send it. Okay, okay. All right, very good. But I would encourage you to, um, you know, just think of ways that you can both share information, um, share stories. Um, you know, this is a great time that we can um, build our engagement um, with our audience and also attract new people to, um, you know, to start to follow us and, um, you know, start to connect with us so that we can begin to message to them. Okay, so tonight we're talking about show me the money and tonight is part one of a two part series, uh, because as I shared earlier, to try to go through the entire compensation plan and have you digest it um, is, is a little bit much. Okay, so tonight we're going to go from a consultant through an executive manager, which is kind of the 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 end location, the end destination before you flip over into senior leadership as a director and, and above. So we'll st that's where we're gonna start. And you'll have at the end, I'm gonna see if you have really uh, grasped hold to the information that I'm gonna share tonight. Uh, because if you look at our compensation plan and you begin to read it, your head can probably spend because it's a lot of words and all that. So I've tried to condense this to um, a, a place where it will be easy. But the first place that we start is on with our personal sales, uh, because I've always been a firm believer, and I think you probably share the same sentiments, that we lead by example, okay? So, and it starts with us, okay? So if we are selling, if we are having appointments, if we're doing color analysis, if we are doing skincare consultations, if we're doing all of the things that lead us to the end result of getting sales and building our business, we're gonna be in a much better position to be able to lead other people to do what we do. Because leading by example is one of the, the kind of the basic uh, rules of leadership. OK, because people will do what they see you do more than they do what you tell them to do. OK, so with online sales, one of the things you need to, to know is that Color Me Beautiful, Floyd Roberts, Adrian Arpel, Gail Heyman, we offer some of the highest commissions on online sales. Most companies today are paying 20, 25 percent. We pay 30 percent and then we go up to 40 percent when your sales top $1,000 or more. So a shout out to Linda Webster, um, who ended up having in the month of February, over $1,000 in online sales. Um, and so she was able to experience the benefit of getting a 40% 40, 40 on her personal sales. That has nothing to do with anybody you've got on you. So it starts with us. It starts with you as an individual that you wanna start, You know, whether you're brand new or whether you're an, a vet, veteran in the business, you wanna start really building your basic business because in doing that, most of the times, as we start talking about building teams and building organizations, a lot of our teams um, are built from customers or customers, friends, or people that we meet from that engagement with people. So online sales commissions, 30% on all sales under $1,000 and 40% on sales of $1,000 or more. So just remember that as we are, um, you know, as we're going through. The next thing is that a, a number of um, entrepreneurs and consultants in, in direct sales prefer to be able to order at a bigger discount 
resell the product at retail and make their profit when they sell the product. And that's also a great business model. And so these are all the different discount structures we have. I'm getting ready to share something with you that I need for you to just um, you know, remember and, and keep it in the back of your mind when you're thinking about ordering inventory. So um, purchasing $299 or less or under $300 I recommend if, if that's what you need, you should do those sales through the brand site. 30% is not enough for you to be ordering inventory um, because you, you're gonna have higher shipping costs uh, involved with order, ordering um, inventory. Uh, it will be better for you to place that same order on um, the Color Me Beautiful or Floyd Roberts website, get free shipping, and you can still get a 30. In some cases, you can get even a 35%. And you've probably seen over the last, you know, the, the former couple of weeks where we had um, 40%, okay, uh, that you were able to get uh, with a $300 uh, order. So um, you are able to take advantage of a bigger and a, and a discount that is really more applicable to ordering inventory once you hit that $300 mark. So just remember that, that I'm saying to you that if you're not ordering at least $300, um, it's better for you to do your business. And if, if those products are for customers, why not just go ahead and have the customers order, pay you, you order it online, use their email address, ship it to them and make you 30%. I mean, that's the sweetest deal on earth, okay? Um, so, but at the $300 level, you're now starting to, on a consistent basis, and 300 to 4.99, 40% is going to be the discount that you're able to get, and um, that's that's okay too. But just remember that the shipping costs are going to be uh, um, a little bit higher because we charge more because of the way that the the product or pack is packaged out and and so forth. Um, the sweet spot for ordering inventory is at 500 to 9.99 because now at this point you're able to get a 52% wholesale price, um, which means on a $500 order, you're gonna pay 240, okay? And um, so then when you resell that product, and, and, and I encourage everybody that's ordering inventory, you should have a path already determined of where you're gonna sell that product. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Color Me Beautiful has never been um, a promoter of stockpiling inventory. Um, we believe that if you're ordering inventory, you should have a uh, place that you're going to be able to sell the product. Okay. So, um, you know, just ordering inventory and having it set is not the, the model that you really want to follow. But again, as entrepreneurs, we have the option every single day to make choices in terms of how we're going to be able to do it. You can get to 54% if you reach that thousand to 1999.99. And again, if you've got a big enough business, you know, it's worth doing it because you're going to be able, you're getting a, a, a nice wholesale price, and then you're able to resell it and make your profit when you sell the product. The 2000 to 229.99.99 gets a 56% discount. And then uh, we max out at 60%. Um, if you're ordering $3,000 or above, okay? And, um, you know, for me, you know, I, I would order $3,000 or above when I was going out to do events. But, you know, in COVID, um, you know, I've been really just focusing on doing uh, my online sales. And, um, you know, online is good because you can just, you know, you can move the, you know, you, you don't have to have inventory, um, you know, and I still have some inventory here and I use it when I need it. But um, for the most part, um, you know, the, the online is the way that I'm going. But each individual entrepreneur had can make the decision in terms of how you're going to do it. But just remember, 300 and above is really the sweet spot for you to start if you're going to consider doing inventory. Below 300, you should do the business online. And if you can, get the customer to order from you online and uh, or either go through you in order and you make your commissions on it. Okay, so in the world of direct selling, um, it, it's important for you to understand what kicks you into mode, into the mode for you to be able to earn extra commissions, okay? So being active 
is one of the requirements for you to be able to get paid your commissions on online sales. And I have seen more than I'd like to see people that miss out on getting commissions just because they're not watching their business close enough and they're they're missing out on, uh, you know, for, you know, $20, you know, they're not active. So you do have to be active. And today we have a uh, active requirement of $100 in sales a month, okay? And those sales, we don't care where they come from, whether you're ordering inventory or whether you're doing online sales, you just need to get hundred to that hundred dollar mark to be able to earn commissions, to be up on the locator and to be eligible for really anything, uh, you know, beyond just selling because you're gonna see once we start talking about uh, moving up the ranks in terms of earning um, commissions on the success of other people that you bring into the business that the requirements get a tad bit steeper. So it's not just about being active, it's about um, you know, really being at a, a, a different level of business. So staying on the locator is important. It, it should be important to you because more and more, um, because we now have merged our platform so that we're able to, um, you, you know, we're able to use the colormebeautiful.com, floyrodis.com, adrianopel.com, gailhaman.com. Um, you, um, you know, that's where really the customers go to shop. So if somebody is, if a, if a customer is not quite sure of, you know, they've got questions about what products to buy, whatever, they very well may look to see where is a, where is a consultant. And there's so many times where people will look and there may not be anybody active in a particular city or state, which is sad. Um, and so one, one of the things that, that I'm encouraging um, everybody to do is to not, don't look at being active on a in and out basis. You know, treat your business like a business and understand that in this type of business that we're in, if we're not interfacing with customers and making an exchange between you giving them product and them giving you money, we don't really have a business, okay? So um, what you wanna do is, um, you know, do as much as you can. The $100 as a minimum, you know, is what is is exactly that, it's the minimum. It's just, you know, a staying right above the, the, the edge of the, of the water. So what we wanna do is make sure that we're doing, treat your business in, in a way that, um, you know, that it looks like you're running a business. And if you're doing that, $100 is not going to be difficult for you to maintain. You don't have to work really hard to get $100. You know, the question is how high is up? And, um, you know, we certainly should look at our business every single month in terms of how many customers we're going to be interfacing with. And um, then the other thing I just want to bring to, um, to your, um, you know, to, to, to you is to understand that we, we look at inventory orders a little bit different than we do your, what we call AYS or at your service, which is the, another name for online sales that you're making to your customers. So when ordering inventory, we take the retail or that top number before the discount is what we count as your retail volume for the month. So if you ordered $500 and you got a 52% discount, we're not taking, you get paid on half of the 500, but you get credit for the $500 retail in terms of, you know, when, when you see us giving, doing recognition and it's, it's celebrating people that have done X number of sales, those are top numbers when it comes, if the person was ordering inventory as a consultant. However, on selling online, we use the price after any promo code has been used, or any discount, and that's what you—that's what we get paid on. So it's a little bit different when you look at ordering inventory versus uh, doing sales online. One, we take the top number, and then the other one, we take the bottom number. We take the number after the discount, after the promo code has been used. That's the number that's counted as your retail in the online selling world. On the wholesale ordering world, we take the very top number before the discount. Any questions on that? Okay, so that's clear. Okay, now here are some terms that you need to know as it relates to 
um, the compensation plan, okay? And uh, one is active, which we just talked about. The next one is personal volume. Um, and personal volume, personal sales volume is your retail sales, my retail sales. And the, the, again, those sales can come from ordering inventory or for, um, for, from uh, online sales. Personal enrollee is um, what we um, call a person or people that you have actually introduced to the business and they have decided to order a kit, sign up, and follow your lead. Okay, that's a personal enrollee. And if you see us abbreviating and saying PE, that's what we're talking to. A group enrollee or GE is someone that is brought in by someone other than you that's on your, in your organization. So for example, Linda Webster is sponsored Jaquel Blackburn. If Jaquel recruits someone, then Jaquel's recruit will be a group enrollee for Linda because Jaquel is her personal enrollee, but the person that Jaquel brought in, brings in is not her personal enrollee, it's her group enrollee, okay? So just remember that. Group volume is everybody's, organi you know, so it's, it's Linda, it's Linda's personal enrollees, and it's Linda's enrollees enrollees. So the group, volume is everything that is coming through that falls up in and and gets credited to your organization okay so that's you and your team's retail sales group commissions at a certain level uh once you become an executive consultant we start paying the leader on the group sales before executive consultant you don't get paid on, even though you may have people in your, your group and they may be doing volume, um, you're not, you won't be paid on that until you reach the level of what we call executive consultant, which will review the, 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 the ranks in just a minute. Commissionable volume, okay? So when you do retail, when you do a retail order, and then when you have sales as a, um, from customers, when we do commissions, even though you and I get paid, if we're doing online, we get paid on the amount that the customer pays for the order. And that's what our 30% and our 40% is based on. But when we get paid on our organization, the volume, the retail is cut in half. So that's what we call commissionable volume. So if you had, um, let's say sales of $10,000, retail sales, including wholesale orders and online sales as in your group, you would get paid, your commissions would be paid on 50% of that, okay? And the rationale for that is that nobody's really buying, you know, nobody's, you know, we're not making the money on that top number, we're making the money from the bottom number. So we pay on the bottom number, okay? And then there's language called qualified that you will see in, the, in our career plan. And qualified simply means a person that has been recruited by someone in your organization. And within their first 60 days of doing business, you may see, it may say, fair, say first full month, but it really translates into 60 days because um, you know even if a person comes in on the first of the month, we can't stop the tracking of it on the first of the next month. So everybody gets the benefit of two full months, okay? Um, so if a person does $500 in sales or orders in their first 60 days, we call them qualified. And at a certain level, starting at in the manager level, if I or you as the sponsoring consultant had somebody to come in that did that $500, um, you would get a bonus, an uh, extra $50 um, in your commissions because you have um, helped, been a part of helping somebody get qualified, okay? And then we have what we call the developmental bonus. And the developmental bonus ties in um, to the person being qualified. So you're either gonna get a $50 bonus at the manager level and all throughout. And then once you go beyond the manager level, then you begin to get paid on 
um, the, the person getting qualified, but you now are getting uh, paid on people that get qualified in your organization as opposed to personal enrollees, which I'll explain that when we uh, do the second phase of this because it ties into increased commissions for directors and above. Any questions? So any of this confusing at this point? I'm writing it all down to study later. Okay. Yeah, I'm writing it down too. I'm just trying to digest it. Um, yeah, because it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot. And, you know, if Linda, if you want this uh, PowerPoint, you know, I'd be happy to send it to you too. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Now, each one of the ranks or titles have three ranks in them. Okay. So we're going to start with the very beginning. So there's a consultant, there's a senior consultant. And there's executives. So this is the beginning of you in, in the business. Everybody that comes into the business um, starts out as a consultant because you are coming in, you're purchasing a kit. And, uh, you know, whether you are doing sales online or whether you're ordering inventory, you are basically a single individual that's coming in. So a consultant is one one individual that really doesn't have anybody else in their organization that is active, okay? So it can either be you and you really are by yourself, or it could be you and you could have five other people that you recruited, but if none of them are active, you still are considered a consultant because you have not yet helped the people that you've brought into the business to uh, get active so that you can advance your rank to the next level. So from a consultant, the next step that you would take, and some people will skip over this and go straight to the next level, but let's just assume that you are starting from the beginning. So from a, from a consultant, you would move to a senior consultant. And a senior consultant is um, a person that has one, at least one active team member, okay? You could have recruited four or five but if only one got active, you still are a senior consultant, okay? Once you get three active team members, you then advance to an executive consultant, okay? So let's talk about what the benefits are um, once you move. So as a consultant, you're just a lone ranger. You're doing business on your own. You're really not um, managing people yet. And if you have people on your team, and they're not doing anything, then you need to be kind of figuring out why, um, you know, and trying to figure out, again, it goes back to that whole conversation we had at the beginning that, you know, you lead by example. So if they don't see you doing anything, there's no reason for them to jump in. And then on the other side of the coin, I've also seen people where they bring in somebody that's really a runner and um, those people will outpace them and just, you know, kind of leave them in the dust, okay? so. Here's the thing that you need to remember. We talked about active and the, the $100 minimum, but once you start recruiting people, the economics change for the person that's doing the recruiting. So in order, so let's say that Jaquel sponsors a person into the business. She recruits somebody and um, she then um, helps to get that person active. That person makes it to, gets to $100. Now, if Jaquel wants to be able to get paid on that consultant that she brought in that's active, ja ja Jaquel has to not only be active, but she now has to do $200 in retail volume in the month that she wants to get paid, okay? So the, the, the economics change when you become a leader so if you're just doing business on your own and you don't have anybody else that you're trying to get commissions on, you know, you can stick at that hundred dollars if that's what you want to do. Although I encourage you to not think of the hundred dollars as a, a plague or burdensome, think of the hundred dollars as a starting point that you're going to grow from. Okay. So as a senior consultant, you're going to get paid 4% on all of your personal enrollees, as long as you have one that's active, 
Okay, so I want you to all remember all that because we're going to have a little bit of a mini test at the end. Okay, so one active team member that you've recruited will get you paid 4% on everybody that you recruited in your organization. Okay, doesn't pay for group volume, but it does pay for the volume that's coming from your personal enrollee. So if you recruited five people and only one of them were active, you're still a senior consultant. It doesn't matter how many you recruited, it matters how many people are active. And, um, and then once you have the one person that's active, you will get paid on all 4% on all of your personal enrollees, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so that's level two. That's from consultant to senior consultant. The next level in the consultant category is called an executive consultant. Now, keep in mind, as you move up the ranks, so do the numbers. The numbers change, the numbers get higher, and the, the, you know, some of the stakes get a little bigger, okay? So as an executive consultant, you need to have three active team members. As long as all three of them do at least a, a minimum of $100, you've met the requirements, okay? But you have to do, you still have to do your $200 in order to get paid on them, okay? So just remember that the active criteria of $100 is, is just the, 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 the baseline for you and I. Once you start recruiting as a consultant at the, the lowest level of, of getting into leadership, $200 is your base. And I have seen a number of people that have missed out on getting commissions on somebody that was doing really, really well in their organization because they either didn't listen to or you know just didn't grasp hold to the fact that you, you, you can't just do the $100 if you want to get paid on your team members, okay? So at, at a consultant level, you have to do $200 if you got a team and you want to get paid on them, okay? So just remember that. But as an executive consultant, your commissions now go for your personal enrollees increase to 5% on everybody that you personally included, but you now are going to start getting paid on your group and you are a part of the group. So now in addition to you, let's say doing your online sales and getting paid your commission on that, whatever sales volume you did online is also now gonna be um, calculated into your group volume and you're gonna get paid the commissions on that. So you're gonna get paid 5% on your personal enrollees and then you're gonna get 3% on your group. So technically what ends up happening on the people that you personally recruited, you're gonna get a total of 8% because you're gonna get 5% on what they actually sold and then their volume is gonna be calculated into the group and you're gonna get another 3% on your personal. But the people that are not your personals, you're getting paid 3% on them and again, all of this is going to make sense more in a minute because we're going to have some examples and it's going to, I'll see if you really grasp hold to this. Any questions so far? That's why we're only doing consultant to executive manager tonight. Any questions? Okay. So the next level is a manager. I do have a question real quick. Okay. Um, are you saying executive consultant and executive manager like interchangeably? Is that the same position or is no, no. manager above? Okay. Manager so is, yeah. So we now, when we flip over to the next screen, you're going to be, you're now in the manager category. So there's three levels of consultants, a consultant, senior consultant, executive consultant. Once you advance beyond the executive consultant, you should be heading into the manager, okay? So as a manager, here's the qualifications. So a manager, you have to have five active team members. So you see, we went from zero to one to three as a consultant, active team members. Now in the manager level, you talk about five, seven, and 10, okay? Zero, one, three, five, seven, 10. Okay, and these are the requirements to go through and, and not everybody, you don't have to necessarily go through each individual level. You could decide that you're going to skip it. I mean, because in a lot of cases, there's only two or three 
team members that is the difference between one rank versus the other. It's just a matter of whether they're active or not, okay? So now that you're in the manager level, the stakes are getting higher because we're now trying to get you prepared for post executive manager. And the reality of it is, is if you, you know, once you become a director, you never have to, as, a, as an individual director, have to do more than $500 in personal sales, okay? But most do more because the, the higher your rank and the more people you're leading, you generally are doing more business as a whole. But let's stick to the manager for the time being. So a manager, entry-level manager has five active team members, but, and the, the, but in order for you to get paid at, the, at that rank, the, your personal sales now go up another notch. So remember the consultant category, how much did you have to do as a consultant to get paid on your team members? As a consultant, 100 or two? 200. 100 is, just remember that 100, 100 is the baseline for being active. If yeah. you have a team and you're at the beginning level of building a team, you as the leader have to do $200, okay. right? 200 retail, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you did 200 online sales or you did a, um, you know, or $200 retail order, you've qualified and you're now gonna get paid on your team, okay? But once you move and advance into the manager level, your sales now increase to 400 that you have to do. And not only do your sales, your personal sales increase to a minimum of 400, but you now have some group volume requirements that you have to meet. So at the manager level, your group has to do at least $1,000. At the senior manager level, your group has to do 2000 because what we're doing, we, we believe that once a person gets into the manager level and going up, that they really have their sights set on flipping over into director, okay? So what we're doing is getting them prepared for what's gonna be coming down the pipe, okay? Uh, because the higher the rank, the, um, you know, the, the, the sales requirements, the group volume requirements, all of that, changes and increases okay so but also so does your 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 commission now as a manager what you'll notice is that the commissions really are the same as an executive consultant but what does change to give you the opportunity to make more money is that as a manager you have the opportunity to qualify help people get qualified and you could literally get a $50 bonus on as many people as you help them when they come into the business new and in their first 60 days do a total of $500, you could get a $50 bonus on every single person that you help do that. But that doesn't start until you get to this level of manager. So in order to be eligible for what we call the developmental bonus, um, you have to get them qualified which means that they've got to get to $500 in their first 60 days. You have to do your $400, but then you'll get paid your commissions, your 5% on your personals, your 3% on your group, but you also going to get a bonus of $50 for each person that you get qualified. Does that make sense? Yes? It's a lot to die. It's, it's a lot to that even to try to write down. Yeah, no, so don't worry about writing it down because you can take. I'll send out this. Um, you can have this PowerPoint, and okay. um, and then a plus is going to be recorded, and then um, you know we've got this information written up, and it's we we have it on a on a two page sheet. It's called the career plan overview, which is pretty easy reading. It's it's much easier probably than even this because you can look at the top of the rank and go all the way down and kind of see what the, the, you know, it's got what the sales requirement are for you and all that. And so that's, that's maybe what I'll direct everybody to, uh, to at least to start out with, even though you'll be able to uh, have access to this as well. But the bottom line is as a manager, we are get, we're helping you get prepared to go into senior leadership as a director and above. That's where the car allowances come in and all that kind of stuff, okay? So, five active team members, okay? So five active team members just means that you have to have five people doing at a minimum 
hundred dollars each. Okay, that's the minimum. Okay, um, and then as a senior manager, you have to have a, at a minimum have set seven people on your team that are doing a minimum of a hundred dollars a month. Okay, and then as an executive manager, you have to have a, a minimum of ten doing a hundred dollars a month. Which and we look at activity. We look at your qualifications as active on a monthly basis. That's why we say you have to do $100 every month. We used to do 300 every 90 days, but we decided that we would make it um, $100 a month because I think that that uh, really stimulates um, consistency, okay? All right, any questions? <clears throat> so you have to do 400 as a manager to be able to get paid. You have to have either five seven or 10, depending on which rank you're at, okay? Active personals, you know, active team, you know, and th these have to be uh, personal enrollees, all right? And then um, you have to do either a $1,000 in group volume. So if you're doing four, that counts for your group. That means you're, the rest of your group has to do a minimum of six, okay? If you are a senior manager at a minimum, you've got to do $2,000 in group volume. So if your minimum is 400, that means that you've got to get your, your team has to account for now $1,600 in retail volume. And then at the, uh, the, the executive manager level, you've got to do, you get to uh, $4,000 in group volume. And so your minimum is 400. So now you've got to get $3,600 from your other team members, okay? So that is, you know, that's kind of it, it in a nutshell. So each level, consultant, manager has three levels that you can go through. You can, you can pace yourself and you can do one at a time um, or you can skip. Um, but, you know, one of the things that, that, that we encourage you to do is to work with the team members, help them to get solid. But the only way that you're going to help them get solid is that you're solid. So you've got to be able to know pretty much everything that 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 they're going to need to know. You're going to need to know how to direct them on how to order inventory. You're going to need to know how to tell them how to do orders online. You're going to have to be able. You you would be doing what I'm doing for you know corporately. You would probably be doing some of that for your team as an individual. Um, but a lot of what we're doing you know, kind of saves you um, having to do it because, I mean, unless you just want to spend, um, you know, time with your, your, your organization, you know, building that camaraderie. Uh, but, you know, we want to be able to help you. We, we pride ourselves in helping you in uh, managing and, and helping you to build your team. Okay. All right. So the next thing, this is where I test you to see if you grasp hold of everything we just talked about, okay? So if a person was a senior consultant, how many active people would they need to be a senior consultant? One. Okay. And how much would the consultant need to do at a minimum? Do a hundred dollars a month. Two hundred. Two hundred, right? So once you are recruiting, so remember this. This is probably the easier way to look at it. Two hundred, four hundred, five hundred. It never gets any higher than five hundred. That as the sponsoring consultant. So in the consultant rank, two hundred is your goal. So that's more than just being active, okay? That's double active, okay? And then as a manager, you have to do 400. And then once you get out of, you, you promote out of the manager and go into director, 500 is, it never gets any higher than 500. That is the base requirements for you as a leader to be able to get paid on your organization. Everything else may go up, but um, you are, as a, as you, as a leader, your personal sales never have to be higher than $500 in our organization, okay? All right, so the senior consultant 
because I want to be able to, I, I'm, we're going to help you figure out the commissions here. Okay. So the, so this, let's just say that this is a real live, uh, a senior consultant. So the senior consultant had personal sales of $200. So that's a check. She, she made that. She had one personal enrollee that did $500. That's a check because she has to have at least one personal enrollee that's active. That enrollee did more than what she needed to do. Okay. And then some, let's just say that somebody else in her organization that wasn't active could have sponsored three other people. And those people did $75 each. Okay. So if you look at these numbers, what's the total group volume? Well, you get the 75 times the three and then the add that to the 500. Okay, and then what yeah. else? <laughs> okay, I want y'all to feel comfortable. So does this, as a senior consultant, does the senior consultant get paid on her group volume? Five percent, but is it or is that no? She only gets paid on the one active. Right. No, she gets paid on the. No, she only gets paid on the one active. Right. Even if she has five team members and only one's active. Well, no. As a senior consultant, as long as she has at least one that's active, if she's got three other personals that are not active, she'll still get paid on them but she has to have one that's active in order to get okay. paid on any of them. So the other 375, they didn't meet the 100, but then it still counts towards the group. It, 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 it counts toward her volume for her mm -hmm. personal enrollees, because keep in mind, as a senior consultant, she doesn't get paid on her group volume. You don't start getting paid, paid on the group until the next level, okay? So let's just say that her 200, so I just, let's just go through to figure out what the, what the numbers are, okay? So let's say that her personal sales came from online. So she would make 30% uh, on that, which would be how much? Oh God, I don't know. 200 times 30%. My head is spinning. That's all right. All right, so $200 <laughs> times 30% is gonna equal $60. So she's gonna make $60 on her personal sales, okay? She gets paid on her personal enrollees because she has one. So one of them did 500 and the other three did 75 each. So if you take 75 and multiply that times three, that's gonna come up with $225. I think Jaquel said that. So that means that um, her personal enrollees total volume uh, that she's going to get paid what on? How much percentage? 4%. Right. So she's going to get paid 4%. And is she getting paid on the 7, 7? Uh, is she getting paid on the, the, the 725? Or is she getting paid on something else? Oh. I got lost there. Okay. So remember we talked about commissionable volume. So mm -hmm. the, seven to, the, the 500, the 200, the $75 each, that's all retail. Okay, that's the top number. What we get paid commissions on in the organization, on, in the career plan, is what we call commissionable volume. So we take that top number, the 725, and we divide it in half, and that's what we get paid the 4% on. Yeah. And that's across the board. It doesn't matter. So that's why we say it's a numbers game. So, you know, the, the bigger the number, when you cut that in half, that number is what's going to drive uh, what your commissions, you know, what your commission is going to be. Okay. So 725 divided by two is going to net us 362.50. So that's divided by two. Okay. That's half. And so what you're going to get in, when you get a deposit on in this particular scenario, you're gonna get $60 on your personal sales because you're gonna get paid 30%. And then you're gonna get paid $14.50 on the 
four people, the person, the one that did the 500, the three that did the 75 each, which totals 725 divided by two, and then times 4% equals 1450. So your total deposit for that month under this particular scenario would be $74.50. Wow, that's a lot of calculation for $74. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. That's right. But you got to do it for the $74 to get to the $750 or the $7,000. Right. right. Right? Yes. Okay. So, you know, because once you learn the calculations, it's better for you to learn it on the small numbers so that when the big numbers come. So, um, so uh, Linda, when you got your, de your deposit, did you understand the, the flow of the money? No. Okay. So we'll go over that tomorrow. Okay. But you I like, mean, I understand you like, you a like little bit better. Though. Huh? I under yeah, that deposit was nice. I understand a little bit better just hearing you break it down step by step than I ever did because I didn't have the numbers. I didn't have the volume right. of sales and, you know, the recruits, but I understand a little bit better and so, I'm tired and, you know, it's kind of staggering, but. Right. And it, it is, it is. I mean, and, and think about it. I mean, I, I have to look at these numbers every single day oh, and then God. When, we, when we do commissions, you know, um, and then what I'm going to do tomorrow too, uh, Linda, for you is I'm gonna I'm gonna send you your a snapshot of your organization so you can see the flow, um, you know, in terms of how we we do the calculations. Okay, so the next well, we scenario, don't have that tree anymore, the genealogy like we used to have in the back office. Now that we're the yeah, I know. So is. you know, so I, I I would have to send that to you, okay? Because um, we we have it. It's just not uh, when we switched over to sharing the platform of the brand sites. Um, that went away. Okay. Yeah. So, but, but you can still get it because we have it. We have to do the calculations. Okay. So let's go to the next one real quick. And then I promise we're going to be off of here in, in the next 10 minutes. Okay. So I, I, this one is, is a little bit of a trick because I want to see if you all catch on to it. Okay. So executive consultant, remember we said as an executive consultant, um, you have to have how many active team members? Three. Three. That's right. Three active, right? So you got to mm -hmm. have at least three that are doing a hundred that doing a hundred dollars a month. Okay. And how much as the consultant do I need to do? 200. I need to do 200. Right. Okay. So what would happen to this person if this was real? Um, they would get 5% on the group. Well, they wouldn't get anything because their personal sales ain't is a hundred dollars less than it should be. There you go. And no, who? I thought you said two hundred on the yeah. chart. Yeah. So right. So as a as a as a consultant to get paid on your team, you have to do personally two hundred dollars in sales. That's what I said. Right. But in this chart, how how much did I have there? I'm not 100. seeing the chart. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So that's that's where you missed it. Okay. So the so what I wanted to see if you all were going to catch is that th this consultant as as good. Okay, she's got three group members that did two hundred dollars. She had three personal enrollees that did one hundred and fifty dollars each, and all that. But she would miss out on getting anything. The only thing that she would get is the she would get $30 on her personal sales because if she did online, let's assume that she did online sales, she, she wouldn't be penalized for not getting commissions on her personal sales because she did the, the minimum, but she would not get commissions on the pr three personals that did 150 or 450 total. She would not get, get, get commissions on the three group members that did $200 each. Why? because she did not do that extra hundred dollars in personal sales. So you need to be able to look at it in that with those, you know, that kind of view uh, to be able to make sure that you are grasping whole. Because once you get it, you'll be able to, to walk it and talk it. But, you know, it, it takes, you know, if you're not using this and looking at it and, and, and playing with it every month, the people that are earning the commissions, they watch their numbers. 
Yeah, okay. but I'm, I'm still stuck on how did it go from 200 personal sales to, th to three? Where's the extra hundred? That's what I'm, oh, oh, to make up the total of the group because the other ones lacked because three of them weren't active. Is that how that works? No, uh, because she has, she has enough people active. So you're not, you, because you can't see the chart, you, you're, yeah. you're not, you, you're missing it. But the, the, she had everything she needed except her personal sales to be able to qualify and get well, paid as an executive. Because I thought the personal sales had to be 200 minimum. And now, but y'all are saying there's an extra hundred she missed. And that's what I'm, I'm not getting that. You're not seeing that because the, under this scenario, I showed that she had personal sales of a hundred because I wanted to see if you all would catch the fact that that was the one that oh, was- Oh, oh, yeah. okay. I'm looking at my notes and I wrote yeah, down 200. No. So okay. if, if, if everything was correct, if, if, if she had done 200, it wouldn't, we wouldn't be having this conversation because okay, we you. would be going through and figuring out what the commissions were, okay? All right. So the yeah. next one is also a trick that I wanna see if you catch, okay? So this person is under a manager she had personal sales of five hundred dollars, so that show. And one of the, the easier way to probably calculate everything is to go through and say, okay, check, they did this, check, did that, and and then that way, when you if there's anything that's missing, and you can't wait until the thirty first of the month to do this calculation, you need to be looking at where you are on the twenty fifth of the month to say, okay, I need like, because this is why for those of you that are in organizations that sometimes you may get a phone call from your upline that says, hey, you know, I see where you've got, you know, $50 in sales. Do you have anybody else that, you know, you can get to order from you so you can be active? Because what happens is if they're short one person, it can keep them from being able to qualify and earn the commissions that they are trying to earn at their rank. Okay. So under this scenario, as a manager, the manager had $500 in personal sales. So check, she made that. She had seven personal enrollees that did $300 each. Check, she's good. She's got three group members that did 200 each. Check. Okay, so the group volume is 500 plus 300 times seven is 2,100. And then three group members that did 200 each, that's 600. Okay, so how much does a manager get paid? Okay, a manager gets paid. 5% on her personal enrollees and 3% on her group. She has to have at least $1,000 in group volume. So is there anything wrong with this picture? Ten seconds. Um, I don't think I don't think there is because we we said group commissions are commissions paid on total sales, including yours. Mm -hmm. So the total sales will include the seven personals at the three hundred. So that's that's about twenty seven hundred right there, and then the three three group members and the two hundred each. That's six hundred. So you got really you got um you got over a thousand if it's the whole group. Mm -hmm. Unless the group commission is just counting the group members. I'm not sure if that that No, the group the group what once you get into the arena where you're getting where you where group volume counts, um you are you you're counting everything, yours, everybody else. But the thing that's what's wrong with this is this person really has promoted from being a manager to a senior manager. Mm. That's what I wanted you all to see. And the reason why they did that, because at a manager, she only needed five. 
Okay. And she only needed a thousand dollars. She only needed five personal enrollees, but she's got seven. So really this would be a person that has promoted from a manager to a senior manager because she has seven and she has $2,000 in group and she's done her 400. So she did, she met all of the criteria to be able to advance to the next level, which would be a senior manager. Mm -hmm. So that's what you have to, that's, and, and that's the kind of thing that you want to look out for is that, you know, you don't want to miss getting paid at the right rank um, because, you know, you, you're looking at just kind of one way. You always look, and that's why I say the best thing to do is, okay, think about the different criteria that you've got to meet, okay? So, and, and if you see that, oh, wow, you know what? I got more than I need for a manager, so I'm going to get paid as an executive manager, so, or senior manager. She's going to get paid as senior manager, okay? Well, so, can that fluctuate why? back and forth, or do you get to that level and try no, to stay there? No, you, 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 can, you can fluctuate. You can get paid at one rank one month and get paid at another drop rank. Drop back, month. okay. And, and you, can, you can get paid at a high rank one month and drop all the way back to something else the next right. month if you don't meet the criteria. So every month we look at what you actually have done and that and we pay you according to that. I got it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So in this particular scenario, they've got 500. Okay. So $500 in personal sales. So she's made that criteria because she only has to do 400. She had $2,100 in personal sales volume from her personal enrollees. So she's going to get paid 5% on half of the 2100. And then she's got, and remember we said when you start earning group commission, you now get paid on your personal sales too. Your sales count as a part of the group and you get paid the group commission. Okay. So the, the group volume, um, the group members were uh, $600. Okay. So that's 3% on 600 only. And then the, no, the 3% is going to be on the total group, which is 2,100 plus 500 plus 600. So that ends up being 3,200. Yeah, that's $3,200 retail that the group volume is. But the personal volume, personal enrollee volume that they're going to get paid 5% is on half of the 2100. So 2100 divided by two ends up being 1050 and 5% of that is gonna be $105. And if the consultant did the $500 in online sales, she would get 30% of that. So that's $150. And then the group volume, which includes you, the group volume is 20, no, the group volume is $3,200 divided by two. That ends up being $1,600 and times 3%. So 1,600 times 3% ends up being $48. So the total commission, so 150 on personal commission, 105 on personal um, enrollee commissions, and then $48 on the $1,600, which is the group. So that's a total of $303. Okay. So now you may, you know, you'll start getting, you'll start thinking twice about your commissions when you start getting into the hundreds of dollars. And then when you get the taste of getting a thousand dollars or $1,500 or whatever, because you are now, because in direct selling, you'll hear people say, it's better to get 1% on 100 people than 30% on just you. And that's true, okay? So it's okay to get the higher percentage on you, but it's always it always pays to be able to get paid on helping to develop somebody else, okay? So that's, that's all this is, okay? Is really you, teaching other people to do what you've learned to do, which has caused you to be successful. And then you help them be successful. And then you get them to teach other people. And then you build an organization. The people that make the most amount of money in direct selling 
have big organizations. It's not them. Most of them are not selling that much now. Once they will, because once you get a big organization, your time is really spent. That's why we don't in, we don't ask a leader, a, 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 a director and above to do more than $500 in personal sales. Because once you get into the arena where you've got, you know, 100 people in your organization, 200 people, 500, 5,000, whatever it is that you're going to do, your time is really spent managing and watching the numbers and giving counsel and being available to talk to people. So even though you may still be selling and having your customers that are ordering from you, you're spending your time watching and managing and building your organization. And if you talk to anybody that has made a lot of money in direct selling, I mean, because we we had, there was a, a girl that was with us a number of years ago. She had got the car, the Mercedes, and she was, you know, getting checks of eight, ten thousand dollars a month. But she was a hustler and she had a big organization. And then, you know, she decided that, you know, she was going to get rich some other kind of way. Who's that? Uh, Diane Williams. Okay. That was before me, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't remember her name. Yeah, well, I mean, we had, we had a lot of, we had several people that were up there in the dollars, um, but she was probably the, the, the biggest, she, you know, she was the one that was making the most amount of money. Um, so, and then the executive manager, we just, it's the same kind of scenario. Okay, so you do check. Okay, so did she do a personal sales? Yes, because she only has to do 400. Does she have enough personal enrollees to qualify for executive manager? Yes, because you only need 10 and she only has to have um, well, we, what we got to do is check and see if she's got enough personal volume because she, uh, a group volume. So as an executive manager, she has to have how much in group volume? 4,000. Okay. So 11. Huh? I didn't know we even got to executive manager. I, I, well, I, I got senior manager down. I don't know if we got that far. Yeah, we did. We went did through we? all the managers. So 11 times 200 is 2,200. Mm -hmm. So this is a case where as an, this person that wouldn't meet, they would only get paid as a senior manager because even though they've got the personal enrollees, they don't have the, the volume. You see that? Yeah, so they as a, oh, think yeah. about it. So a, a manager needs five, a senior manager needs seven, an executive manager needs 10. But on top of the, the number of personal enrollees that you have, you now have to have group volume. So a manager needs $1,000, a senior manager needs $2,000, and an executive manager needs $4,000. So this would be a case where this person that, let's say, the month before ranked at an executive manager, I, that's why I, I did it like this, because I wanted to see if, if you all would catch that this is the wrong rank. Okay, so she would get paid as what? Oh, as a um, as a senior manager. There you go. She right, get paid she, as a she senior hit the manager. Two thousand. She hit the two thousand mark, but didn't right. hit you know the mark for executive, right? That's right. That's right. So that's so those are the kinds of things that, you, and I'm telling you, if you learn this at the consultant and the manager level, even at the consultant level, you'll, it'll, it'll be easy for you to learn it at any level because it's all the same concept. You, you, you're vetting your personal, your personal sales, your personal enrollees, your personal enrollee sales, and your group sales. That's it. And then you know the percentages and you can look at a piece of paper and see what that is. So what you want to be spending your time on is figuring out, okay, so, and, and sometimes people will, you know, say, okay, I show me how I can make $800 a month. And I can put together a formula for you that will be able to do it, but it's going to tell you how many people you got to have in your organization, what kind of volume you got to be doing, and the commissions are not changing. So the only thing that you got, you got to bring, you got to bring the people in, you got to get the sales in, and the rest will follow. That makes sense? So imagine if we had to do six more categories, because that's what we've got. There's six more ranks above this. 
Okay. And so that's why we're doing this in two parts. So if you grasp hold to this, you've got everything you need. Any questions for tonight? Sylvia, you're muted. I see your lips moving. I don't, I can't, we can't hear you, Sylvia. Can you hear me now? Yes, uh-huh. Um, on your chart, you had the, uh, uh, for the consultants, you, uh, our manager, you didn't have a uh, senior manager down here where you, uh, was it supposed to be there? Because it's a senior consultant, executive consultant, manager, executive manager. Yeah, these were, so these were just examples to get you guys to figure out the commissions. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it wasn't, I, that's why I said, can you determine the earnings? But if you go back here, here right. you see the manager, senior manager, executive manager, and consultant, mm -hmm. senior consultant, executive consultant. So yeah, but the, the examples, I didn't go through every single rank. Okay. I wanted to mix it up to kind of trick you guys to get you to, to really see what was happening and to see if you could catch where there were errors. Oh, I, I didn't get that there were tricks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was trying to trying to get you all to say, hey, no, that person is not a manager, they'll be this, or that person is not an executive manager, they'll be this, because you've gotta be watching for that. Another thing, uh, right now, uh, I have one person under me, mm -hmm. um, and- And is she active? Um, I'm not sure. She was saying that she's going, you know, getting, still getting her list together. And so um, I've got to speak with her to, I guess, encourage her to. Uh, and you know what? I seemed like to me, I think she was, I think she did get active in February. Oh, yeah, she is, yeah, she is active. Okay. But from now on, she has to uh, uh, have a, either a, a $100 but here, here's the thing. Let me tell you. Let me. Now, now this this is a good this is a good conversation to have. So she was brand new. She's not a reactivate, right? No, she's brand new. Okay, so she's brand new. All right. So you could, um, well, you know what? She. So what you what you want to do? So you got to do make sure that you're doing two hundred dollars in retail volume. Okay. To get paid on her. Okay. Right. And um, there's, and then, you know, sometimes we will, so there's, there's no way for you to get a bonus right now on her because you're not at an, um, a manager level. If you were at a manager level, you could work with her to get her qualified. See, that's why, you know, you have to think about all the different things. So right now, what you want to do, you, you want to maintain your rank at a senior consultant. Okay. And the senior consultant, you have to do $200 and you got to make sure that you keep your one recruit active. Okay. And she has to do 200 as well? Or no, she doesn't have to do 200. She just needs to do $100 to be active. Okay. I didn't know that. I'm, I'm glad um, we talked about this because I thought from, you know, I did do 500 this, you know, in February. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, so I've got to do 200 for this for this month. From if, now, yeah, yeah, so, and, and here's the reality of it too, is that, so when you look at, so let's say that you, you're managing your money and your resources, and you look at your month, and you see that you should be calculating and say, okay, so how much will I make on her, and is it worth me, do I need, do I really need this inventory in order to make the money on her? Okay, because keep in mind, you know, 4% on half of $100 is not going to be a whole lot of commission. Right. You see? So, but let's say that she did $1,000 mm -hmm. and now you're going to get 4%. I mean, it, it'll be 20 bucks, but it's still 20 bucks that you didn't have. Mm -hmm. That's a that's gas money. Mm -hmm. That's what I look at it. Mm -hmm. That's why I like getting my deposits every month. <laughs> What, what about you, Duquel? You got you you got some you got a deposit too, didn't you? Yeah, not not that much, but I I, I do I, I enjoy 
getting it every I Thursday. I know, girl. I, I love it, honey. I like I, I take myself out to eat <laughs> the PF chains. <laughs> or just stash it away for a rainy stash day. Away. Yep. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So I don't I don't look a gift horse in the mouth, honey. I, I love being able to make sales and get paid. So, all right, any questions? So next week we'll deal with director and above, okay? Um, but so if your head was spinning tonight, you're really gonna be spinning next week. Cause that's um, where we start talking about, you know, car allowance and senior leadership bonuses. I mean, you know, people- can I have be to take a that. nap before that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so any questions? Lisa, any questions? So again, my personal sales doesn't have to be what Not I no. sell, but everybody, you know, um, any sales from my uh, from customers plus mine, as long as all of it um, adds up to two hundred dollars. Right. That's that's that that will get you where you get paid. Okay. On her. Okay. okay. So yeah. So you don't you don't you don't you can do your bare minimum. Or, you know, you, you know, but I always tell people, do your business, run your business the, the way that it works for you, but just make sure that you don't miss out. Don't leave any money on the table if it's out there to be gotten. Okay. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Okay. I, I hate seeing people leave money on the table. Right. So say if she um, says that she's not ready to get the, the um, $200 this month. Um, but remember, she doesn't have to do 200 she only has to do a hundred at a at a minimum to quali to keep you at your rank. Okay, but I mean, what I'm saying is that what if she says, "Well, you know, I didn't, I'm not going to um, make us uh, buy anything for a hundred dollars mm -hmm. this month." Do I still then, have to have the two hundred dollars, or can I just do a hundred dollars? You, you can just do a hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. So you only have to do the two hundred if you want to get paid on your organization as a senior consultant. I see. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So you don't you don't ever have to do the hundred dollars is kind of the baseline to be able to just you know qualify. You stay on the locator. You get your on your commissions and all that. You just won't get com you get your sales commissions. You won't get downline commissions unless you meet that next level, which is the two hundred. And okay. you have to and and then your person has to be active at a hundred. Okay. Okay. I'm taking it one step at a time. This one step at a time. That's it. That's it. That's it. So well, I, know, okay. I know something to, you know, look forward to and set a goal. But right. right now it's like, you know, I got to learn what I need to do to get to even set the goal. I know. <laughs> That's okay. And if, if you all need help, you know, just reach out and, and I can help you. So anyway, thank you, ladies, for um, for for getting on tonight, and um, thank you. I thank appreciate you, so you all um, getting on, and um, we'll we'll do it again next week. And if you have any questions, and if anything is you know just kind of like I don't understand this, give me a call. I'll, I'll help you, or you know, reach out to your um, your sponsor. Reach so out. How long, to share, how long but... are the Zoom? these Zoom trainings available? You know, say if I uh, want to talk, teach this to my... Um, they are, they, they, I don't, dis, I don't dis discard them. I mean, okay. they, I think they, um, they made this, the, the platform that we use um, may shut them down after a year or something like that. But I mean, we don't discard them. Okay, okay. So, you know, once we send them out, we still have them saved, but oh. the next year that time, we may not have access to it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Don't worry, can I put them in a file, you know, so that <laughs> put these in a file? Well, see, you know, I, 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 I do the recording on cloud. I mean, so that it doesn't take up um, the space because oh. these files are pretty big. So I don't oh. know that you would want to just save them on your computer, um, you I know, see. yeah. Oh. Okay, somebody's yawning. Me, gonna, I had a question. Sing a, sing a lullaby. I'm so tired. <laughs> I had a question. Oh, I was going to say, since we don't have, we can't see like the the chart, the the genealogy like before. The only way we can keep up with the sales is by the weekly reports. 
the weekly reports, but I'm saying um, that I can send you a chart, Linda. Because I'm I mean, just saying can, general, just in, general yeah, understanding. Yeah, just in general. Just so because weekly chart. Because at, at what what I do, I get a report every morning. Okay that is representative of every sale that's coming through, whether it's a consultant order. So I have to, I put that in an Excel spreadsheet and that's how I track. And, um, and then at the end of the month, when we do commissions, I have a, a genealogy that looks very, just like it used to look for um, mm -hmm. in, in Firestorm. And, um, but if, if you don't ask, if you don't ask for it, you won't get it. But it, so if you need to get it, I can send it to you. Okay. So I'll send you yours for February so you can look at it and see. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, so right, far baby. I can track by the weekly report. Oh yeah, the weekly report is, you know, about as good as it gets. And yeah, uh, yeah. what I'm trying to do now is when I see people having customers order or whatever, and they're like not active yet, I'm sending out, you know, little love notes saying, "Hey, you know, you get you had a customer order from you, or I see that you are like at ninety dollars. Don't miss out on getting paid right. ten dollars. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so that's it. But the thing is, you know, if if we work our businesses, the active thing is really just not even an issue. It's really right. Not, yeah, right. So, you ladies are wonderful. I appreciate you. You're and, wonderful. Um, thank you. And and so, um, like I said, we'll, we'll send this out. Uh, and if you ever want any of the PowerPoints, um, you know, that, that you know, just as a separate file, just, you know, um, we can send that out. It doesn't have to always be attached to the recording. Well, thank you so much. You ladies get, get some sleep. It's only 6.30 here in California. Oh. I know, girl. You, it's time you get ready to kick your feet up and have a little mimosa or something. <laughs> okay. All right, ladies. Listen, it's been great. Um, you guys have a great evening. Get some beauty sleep. And we're going to do it all over tomorrow. Okay, Sylvia, what's can I ask what's real quick? Tomorrow? Sylvia. What's happening Can I ask tomorrow? real quick where, where you're at in California? Exactly. Uh, I am in uh, San Francisco Bay Area, but Castro Valley is... Uh, uh, San Francisco Bay, because I have a consultant out there, and I'm, I don't know how far she's. I think she's closer to L.A. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But okay. I'd like for y'all to get acquainted at least. Oh, that would be wonderful. That would be okay. wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. Well, send me send me her information. I would I would I would uh, love to uh, get in contact with her. Okay. Okay. We'll do. All she right. has pretty white hair like you do also. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. The silver foxes, silver foxes. I know. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, ladies, you all have a great good evening. Night. All right, good night. Uh, we'll chat later. All right, bye-bye. Got it. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.